In today's video, let's see the regulation for firefighting arrangements on ship. The information in this video is sourced from Solus, Chapter 2-2 Under Regulation 10 for Firefighting. The following regulations are generally applicable for the ships constructed from 1st of January 2020. The following subjects are covered in this regulation. First Purpose Second Water Supply Systems Third Portable Fire Extinguishers Fourth Fixed Fire Extinguishing Systems 5th Fire Extinguishing Arrangements in Machinery Spaces 6th Fire Extinguishing Arrangements in Control Stations, Accommodation and Service Spaces 7th Fire Extinguishing Arrangements in Cargo Spaces 8th Cargo Tank Protection 9th Protection of Cargo Pump Rooms and Tankers 10th Firefighters Outfits Let's see in detail Purpose the Maritime and Coast Guard Agency has published a list of requirements for fire extinguishing systems to be installed on ships constructed on or after 1st of January 2016. These include open-top container holds and on-deck container stowage areas on ships designed to carry containers. Water Supply Systems Ships shall be provided with fire pumps, fire mains, hydrants and hoses complying with the applicable requirements of this regulation. Fire mains and hydrants General Pipes and hydrants shall be so placed that the fire hoses may be easily coupled to them. Suitable drainage provisions shall be provided for fire main piping. Isolation valves shall be installed for all open deck fire main branches used for purposes other than firefighting. Ready availability of water supply, passenger ships. Administration to determine provisions for fixed water fire extinguishing arrangement for such spaces equivalent to those required for normally attended machinery spaces. If pump starts automatically or if bottom valve cannot be opened from where pump is remotely started, the bottom valve shall always be kept open. Ready availability of water supply at cargo ships. Water must be delivered from the fire main system at a suitable pressure, either by remote starting of one of the main fire pumps or permanent pressurization. The administration may waive this requirement for cargo ships of less than 1,600 gross tonnages if the fire pump starting arrangement in machinery space is in an easily accessible position. Diameter of Fire Mains The diameter of the fire main and water service pipes shall be sufficient for the effective distribution of the maximum required discharge from two fire pumps operating simultaneously. In the case of cargo ships, other than those included in paragraph 7.3.2, the diameter need only be enough for the discharge of 140M3 per hour. Valves Isolating valves to separate the section of the fire main within the machinery space containing the main fire pump or pumps shall be fitted. The emergency fire pump, its seawater inlet and suction and delivery pipes and isolating valves shall be located outside the machinery spaces. Number and position of hydrants the number and position of hydrants shall be such that at least two jets of water not emanating from the same hydrant, one of which shall be from a single length of hose, may reach any part of the ship normally accessible to passengers or crew while the ship is being navigated. Passenger ships shall comply with the following. Watertight doors and all doors in main vertical zone bulkheads are required to be closed, as well as the number and position of hydrants in each accommodation, service and machinery space. Such provision need not be made where the tunnel or adjacent spaces are not part of an escape route. Pressure at hydrants. Minimum pressure shall be maintained at all hydrants for passenger ships and cargo ships. Maximum pressure at any hydrant shall not exceed that at which effective control of a fire hose can be demonstrated by an experienced member of the fire service. International Shore Connection. Ships of 500 gross tonnage and upward shall be provided with at least one international shore connection complying with the Fire Safety Systems Code. Facilities shall be available enabling such a connection to be used on either side of the ship. Pumps accepted as fire pumps. Sanitary, ballast, bilge or general service pumps may be accepted as fire pumps, provided that they are not normally used for pumping oil. Ships shall be provided with independently driven fire pumps as follows. In cargo ships of 1,000 gross tonnage and upwards, at least two, less than 1,000 gross tonnage, at least two power-driven pumps, one of which shall be independently driven. Arrangement of sea connections, fire pumps and their sources of power shall be as to ensure that, in passenger ships of 1,000 gross tonnage and upwards, 
In the event of a fire in any one compartment all the fire pumps will not be put out of action and In passenger ships of less than 1,000 gross tonnage and in cargo ships, if a fire in any one compartment could put all the pumps out of action Ventilation arrangements to the space containing the independent source of power for the emergency fire pump shall be like to preclude as far as practicable, the possibility of smoke from machinery space fire entering or being drawn into that space. In cargo ships where pumps are fitted in machinery spaces, arrangements should be made to ensure that at least one of these pumps has the capacity and pressure required for the fire service's main fire hydrant on board the ship. Total capacity of required fire pumps, Regulation 2135-1 requires fire pumps on passenger and cargo ships to be capable of delivering a quantity of water at the pressure specified in paragraph 2.1.6. The required fire pumps need not exceed 180 cubic meters slash h, provided that in no cargo ship, other than those included in paragraph 7.3.2, need the total capacity of the fire pumps exceed 180 mu slash h. Fire hoses shall be of non-perishable material approved by the administration and shall be sufficient in length to project a jet of water to any of the spaces in which they may be required to be used. Hoses specified in this chapter as fire hoses shall, together with any necessary fittings and tools, be kept ready for use in conspicuous positions near the water service hydrants or connections. Additionally, in interior locations and passenger ships carrying more than 36 passengers fire hoses shall be connected to the hydrants at all times. Ships shall be provided with fire hoses the number and diameter of which shall be to the satisfaction. In cargo ships, of 1000 gross tonnage and upwards, the number of fire hoses to be provided shall be one for each 30 meters length of the ship and one spare but in no case less than five in all. In cargo ships, of less than 1000 gross tonnage, the number of fire hoses to be provided shall be calculated in accordance with the provisions of paragraph 2.3.2.3.1. For the purposes of this chapter, standard nozzle sizes shall be 12 mm, 16 mm and 19 mm or as near thereto as possible. For accommodation and service spaces, a nozzle size greater than 12 mm need not be used. Nozzles shall be of an approved dual purpose type incorporating a shutoff. Portable fire extinguishers, type and design Portable fire extinguishers shall comply with the requirements of the Fire Safety Systems Code. Arrangement of fire extinguishers Accommodation spaces, service spaces and control stations shall be provided with portable fire extinguishers of appropriate types and in sufficient number to the satisfaction of the administration. Ships of 1000 gross tonnage and upward shall carry at least 5 portable fire extinguishers. In control stations and other spaces containing electrical or electronic equipment or appliances necessary for the safety of the ship. Fire extinguishers should be provided whose extinguishing media are neither electrically conductive nor harmful to the equipment and appliances. Spare charges shall be provided for 100% of the first 10 extinguishers and 50% of the remaining fire extinguishers capable of being recharged on board. For fire extinguishers which cannot be recharged on board, additional portable fire extinguishers of the same quantity, type, capacity and number as determined in paragraph 3.3.1 above shall be provided in lieu of spare extinguishing systems, types of fixed fire extinguishing systems. A fixed fire extinguishing system required by paragraph 5 below may be any of the following systems. A fixed gas fire extinguishing system complying with the provisions of the fire safety systems code. A fixed high expansion foam fire extinguishing system. High pressure water spraying fire antifreeze system. Fire extinguishing systems using Halon 1211, 1301 and 2402 and perfluorocarbons and other materials not required by this chapter are not permitted to be installed in homes and businesses in the Commonwealth of Australia and New Zealand. Closing appliances for fixed gas fire extinguishing systems. Where a fixed gas fire extinguishing system is used, openings which may admit air to or allow gas to escape from, a protected space shall be capable of being closed from outside the protected space. Storage rooms of fire extinguishing medium Fire extinguishing medium stored outside a protected space shall be stored in a room located behind the forward collision bulkhead, and is used for no other purposes. Access to such a storage room must be from the open deck and independent of the protected space. Water pumps for other fire extinguishing systems Pumps, other than those serving a fire main, required for the provision of water for fire extinguishing systems required by this chapter.
Their sources of power and their control shall be installed outside the space or spaces protected by such systems and shall be so arranged that a fire in the space or spaces protected will not put any such system out of action. Fire Extinguishing Arrangements in Machinery Spaces Machinery spaces of category containing oil-fired boilers or oil fuel units shall be provided with any one of the fixed fire extinguishing systems. In each case, if the engine and boiler rooms are not entirely separate, or if fuel oil can drain from the boiler room into the engine room, the combined engine and boiler room shall be considered as one compartment. There shall be at least two portable foam extinguishers or equivalent in each firing space in each boiler room and in each space in which a part of the oil fuel installation is situated. There shall be not less than one approved foam type extinguisher of at least 135 liters capacity or equivalent in each boiler room. In the case of domestic boilers of less than 175 kilowatts, or boilers protected by fixed water-based local application fire extinguishing systems as required by paragraph 5.6, an approved foam type extinguisher of at least 135 liters capacity is not required. Machinery spaces of category containing internal combustion machinery. Machinery spaces of category containing internal combustion machinery shall be provided with one of the fixed fire extinguishing systems. There shall be at least one portable foam applicator unit complying with the provisions of the fire safety systems code. In addition, there shall be provided a sufficient number of portable foam extinguishers or equivalent which shall be so located that no point in the space is more than 10 meters walking distance from an extinguisher, and that there are at least two such extinguishers in each such space. For smaller spaces of cargo ships the administration may consider relaxing this requirement. Other machinery spaces. Where, in the opinion of the administration, a fire hazard exists in any machinery space for which no specific provisions for fire extinguishing appliances are prescribed in paragraphs 5.1, 5.2 and 5.3. There shall be provided in, or adjacent to, that space such a number of approved portable fire extinguishers or other means of fire extinction as the administration may deem sufficient. Fire extinguishing arrangements in control stations, accommodation and service spaces, sprinkler systems in passenger ships, Passenger ships carrying more than 36 passengers shall be equipped with an automatic sprinkler. Fire detection and fire alarm system of an approved type complying with the requirements of the fire safety systems code in all control stations, accommodation and service spaces, including corridors and stairways. Spaces having little or no fire risks such as voids, public toilets, carbon dioxide rooms and similar spaces need not be fitted with an automatic sprinkler system. In passenger ships carrying not more than 36 passengers, when a fixed smoke detection and fire alarm system complying with the provisions of the fire safety systems code is provided only in corridors, stairways and escape routes within accommodation spaces, an automatic sprinkler system shall be installed. Sprinkler systems for cargo ships in cargo ships in which method specified in Regulation 9.2.3.1.1.2 is adopted, an automatic sprinkler, fire detection and fire alarm system shall be fitted in accordance with the requirements. Spaces containing flammable liquid, paint lockers shall be protected by a carbon dioxide system, designed to give a minimum volume of free gas equal to 40% of the gross volume of the protected space. A dry powder system, designed for at least half a kilogram powder per cubic meter. A water spraying or sprinkler system, designed for 5 liters per square meter min. Water spraying systems may be connected to the fire main of the ship, or a system providing equivalent protection, as determined by the administration. In any case, the system shall be operable from outside the protected space. Flammable liquid lockers shall be protected by an appropriate fire extinguishing arrangement approved by the administration. For lockers of a deck area of less than 4 square meters, which do not give access to accommodation spaces, a carbon dioxide portable fire extinguisher size to provide. A minimum volume of free gas equal to 40% of the gross volume of the space may be accepted in lieu of a fixed system. A discharge port shall be arranged in the locker to allow the discharge of the extinguisher without having to enter into the protected space. The required portable fire extinguisher shall be stowed adjacent to the port. Alternatively, a port or hose connection may be provided to facilitate the use of fire main water. Deep fat cooking equipment installed in enclosed spaces or on open decks shall be fitted with the following. An automatic or manual extinguishing system tested to an international standard acceptable to the organization. 
A primary and backup thermostat with an alarm to alert the operator in the event of failure of either thermostat. Arrangements for automatically shutting off the electrical power upon activation of the extinguishing system. An alarm for indicating operation of the extinguishing system in the galley where the equipment is installed. And controls for manual operation of the extinguishing system which are clearly labeled for ready use by the crew. Fire extinguishing arrangements in cargo spaces, fixed gas fire extinguishing systems for general cargo. The cargo spaces of passenger ships of 1,000 gross tonnages and upwards shall be protected by a fixed carbon dioxide or inert gas fire extinguishing system complying with the provisions of the Fire Safety Systems Code for all classes of vessel. Arrangements in cargo spaces on ships of less than 1,000 gross tonnages are not required to be the same as in passenger spaces under paragraph 6.3 of the Transport, Cargo, Bill. Cargo spaces on cargo ships of 2,000 gross tonnages and upwards shall be protected by a fixed carbon dioxide or inert gas fire extinguishing system complying with the provisions of the Fire Safety Systems Code. The administration may exempt from the requirements of Para 7.1. Cargo spaces of any cargo ship if constructed, and solely intended for, the carriage of ore, coal, grain, unseasoned timber, non-combustible cargoes which constitute a low fire risk. The Maritime Administration has the power to grant exemptions for certain vessels from loading and unloading cargo in accordance with Regulations I-12 at A, V, and I-13 B of the Transport. Fixed Gas Fire Extinguishing Systems for Dangerous Goods, a ship engaged in the carriage of dangerous goods in any cargo spaces shall be provided with a fixed carbon dioxide or inert gas fire extinguishing system complying with the provisions of the Fire Safety Systems Code, says the Ministry of Transport and Maritime and Transport. Firefighting for ships constructed on or after January 1, 2016 designed to carry containers on or above the weather deck. Ships with breadth less than 30 meters must carry at least two mobile water monitors, or Ships with breadth of 30 meters or more, at least four mobile water monitoring vessels. A sufficient number of fire hydrants for creating effective water barriers forward and aft of each container bay. Mobile water monitors may be supplied by the fire main, provided the capacity of fire pumps and fire main diameter are adequate to simultaneously operate the mobile water monitors and two jets of water from fire hoses at the required pressure values. The operational performance of each mobile water monitor shall be tested during initial survey on board the ship. Cargo tank protection, fixed deck foam systems. For tankers of 20,000 tons dead weight and upwards, a fixed deck foam system shall be provided in accordance with the requirements of the Fire Safety Systems Code. The administration, after giving consideration to the ship's arrangement and equipment, may accept other fixed installations if they afford protection equivalent to the above. Protection of cargo pump rooms and tankers, fixed fire extinguishing systems. Each cargo pump room shall be provided with one of the following fixed fire extinguishing systems operated from a readily accessible position outside the pump room. Cargo pump room shall be provided with a system suitable for machinery spaces of category A. A carbon dioxide system complying with the provisions of the fire safety systems code and with the following. The alarms giving audible warning of the release of fire extinguishing medium shall be safe for use in a flammable cargo vapor slash air mixture, and a notice shall be exhibited at the controls stating that due to the electrostatic ignition hazard, the system is to be used only for fire extinguishing and not for inerting purposes. A high expansion foam system complying with the provisions of the fire safety systems code, provided that the foam concentrate supply is suitable for extinguishing fires involving the cargo's carry. A fixed pressure water spraying system complying with the provisions of the Fire Safety Systems Code. Quantity of fire extinguishing medium. Where the extinguishing medium used in the cargo pump room system is also used in systems serving other spaces, the quantity of medium provided, or its delivery rate need not be more than the maximum required for the largest compartment. Firefighters outfits, types of firefighters outfits, Firefighters' outfits shall comply with the Fire Safety Systems Code, and Self-contained compressed air breathing apparatus of firefighters' outfits shall comply with paragraph 2.1.2.2 of Chapter 3 of the Fire Safety Systems Code by July 1, 2019. Number of Firefighters' Outfits Ships shall carry at least two firefighters' outfits and two sets of personal equipment, 
each set comprising the items stipulated in the Fire Safety Systems Code. Vessels constructed on or after July 1, 2010 shall be fitted with a suitable location for fully recharging breathing air cylinders, free from contamination. Storage of Firefighters' Outfits the firefighters' outfits or sets of personal equipment shall be kept ready for use in an easily accessible location that is permanently and clearly marked. More than one firefighter's outfit or more than one set of personal kit may be carried on board a ship, and they must be stored widely separated. Firefighters' Communication For ships constructed on or after July 1, 2014, a minimum of two two-way portable radio telephone apparatus for each fire party for firefighters' communication shall be carried on board. The apparatus must be of an explosion proof type or intrinsically safe. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this video. Please share with your friends and subscribe to Marinora for more such videos. If you have any queries or comments, drop it in comment box.